So this is a demo showing that it actually is possible to read a DS18B20 temperature sensor or a string of them without using any of the normal external pull-up resistors. So here I just have a normal Arduino Uno which uses an AVR chip and it's connected to a DS18B20 temperature sensor here and here is a normal 4.7 kilo ohm pull-up going to 5 volt plus DC right here and then you have the white is the data going to a digital input pin on the Arduino and the black is the ground and if you look on the computer you'll see that it's reading the temperature no problem now using the normal code if we pull out this pull-up resistor now there's nothing pulling up the data pin in between the bits and we'll see that we don't get any readings anymore. It doesn't even see the sensor on the bus. Now, if we load up some slightly modified code that just turns on the internal pull-ups on that port at just the right times in between the bits, we'll see that it now is able to read again, even though there is no pull-up anywhere in fact, I'm going to completely get rid of the 5 volt plus line since it's not needed anymore. And what's happening now is actually the pull up is inside the AVR chip tied to the pin and we're just enabling it through software inside the chip so that it's pulling it up on the data line itself. Now we're just going to experiment so we see that it definitely works with one sensor on the bus just to see how far we can push this I'm going to try putting another sensor on the bus this is just a um, sensor I got on Amazon it's another DSB18 that comes in this nice waterproof package and I just soldered a little connector on the end you can see it's only got two pins there are no resistors anywhere and there's no 5 volts anywhere to pull up to anyway I'm going to plug this in data to data ground to ground and if we look again, we'll see that all of a sudden, now we're seeing two things on the bus. So that little internal pull-up resistor is enough to drive the bus even with two slaves on it. Just to push our luck even more, I have another one of those Amazon sensors. I'm going to plug that in, and we'll see what happens. And now it's reading three sensors on the bus. Even though there is no pull-up resistor anywhere in sight and there's lots of long high capacitance cables in the system, that internal pull-up resistor which is specced to be about 20 kilo ohms to 50 kilo ohms is enough to raise that voltage fast enough which is around 10 microseconds you need to raise it to fit in the protocol. And now just in case there's anybody doubting, there's no resistors up my sleeves. I'm going to pull all this apart and plug the temperature sensor directly into the board. So no place to hide a resistor here. Plug it right in. And if we look at the screen, you'll see that we are reading good data. And just to prove that that really is that sensor. I'm going to put my fingers on it and hopefully you can see the temperature starts to go up. And if I let go, the temperature starts to go back down again. And if I pull it out, nothing. So for the code and more information on how this actually works, check out the article link in the about section below.